So I'm going to try to be quiet with this. So turn the volume up so you are able to hear me. But tonight's Masonic meeting, the first ever Mason dinner that I will go to, which I, I will go to more, was the best thing I've experienced in a long time. I didn't know it was going to be like that. It was wonderful, and I loved it, and I really wish my best friend would join with me because he's all into protecting his rights and all that stuff, but literally, I'm going to say your name over the internet. No, I'm not, actually, but you know who you are, and the reason I want you to join is because I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to not tell you that I want to join the Masons. All I can say is that why do you want to spend your whole life protecting the people who made fun of you your whole life because you were different? Masons accept anyone of any spiritual belief, any. They accept you. They were the nicest people I've ever met in my life. They aren't like Christians who, if you don't believe what they believe, they'll try to convert you. These people don't care what you are. You just need a spiritual belief of some kind. You need to look up to something. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with looking up to something? I mean, I I'm, I'm, can admit, I'm... I don't like looking up to people. I like learning from people, but I don't like looking up to them. But some very special people in my life, I have looked up to. And you have to be a very determined person for me to look up to you. You have to be friendly, successful, nice to other people. And all these people at the Mason Lodge were so fucking nice and accepting. I have never met that in my life. Plus, with churches, you need to spend donations. Look, if you want to be a Christian, be a Christian. If you want to be a Catholic, be a Catholic. Mace, Masons will, I mean, I already accept anyone of it. I, I have Christian friends. I have Catholic friends. Uh, the 23 degree Mason that I met, the first one, I won't say his name, literally told me the second time of meeting me that I would be a great Mason and I just want my best friend to join with me. I know he's not going to be happy about it, but I have the balls to ask him uh, next Thursday. Well, that's when I'm seeing him. Plus I met a really hot girl tonight. But I didn't like meet her, meet her. I met her twice during the time, but I didn't like have a long conversation with her. Yeah, she was really hot. And you know what I'm starting to tell myself? Raise your standards. You have muscles. You, you are fucking getting stronger, really strong. Reflexes are amazingly fast, and your strength is beyond your physical size. So why not raise my standards? I can already talk to girls easily. Why do I continuously keep going for the uglier, crazier ones? I should be going for the... I look up to strong-minded people. I should be having a strong-minded girlfriend, not a feminist, but one that is successful. And this girl is, uh, what's it called? Something. It's the female version that branched off from Mason is Mason Aries. And Masons help the community. 
It's not based off how great you are. It's based off of how much you help other people. What the fuck is wrong with that? Even if they are tied to the Illuminati, like the higher, higher, higher ones that have connections, who cares? If their cover-up is being friendly and accepting and helping people, what the fuck is wrong with that? I mean, churches kind of do it, but churches, especially Catholic, spend most of the money on themselves. Yeah, they give to some people, but they spend most of the money on themselves. I don't know if Masons do that, because I'm not a Mason yet. But I'm just saying, they seem way more accepting. Hmm. The guy, this was Destiny. This was pure destiny. In every lodge, there are, I like calling them sectors, but groups of different people. And I wanted to join the friendship group. It sounds a little gay, but it's not. There are really nice people in it. And the leader, pretty much, sits right next to me. And he mentions, oh, I believe in sun gods, and I like sun gazing. Try to tell me that that is not a very lucky coincidence. Like, whatever you tell your subconscious, whatever you tell your pineal gland, your reality will change to that if you constantly discourage yourself and say that you can't do it, you won't be able to. If you say maybe, it won't happen because it's a maybe. But if you constantly say these things, like you up yourself up, you encourage yourself, your luck will change. You don't have to look up to an imaginary man in the sky. You can. I don't have a problem with that. Go ahead. You can be Jewish. You can be anything you want. You can Hindu. You do whatever you want. All I'm saying is that the sun regulates hormones when you sun gaze, and it makes you feel more energized. As when moon gazing makes you feel more powerful and calmer and balanced. And I do believe that's how we were originally supposed to just be. That's how we were. We went to sleep at night. We had lots of energy in the day. Why? Because we sun gazed and saw the sun as a god. The Native Americans saw animals as not gods, but maybe because the animals kept them alive. They gave them food, so they worshipped the thing that was helping them live. Yet we all, almost all of us, not all of us, worship a man from a storybook that we've never seen. I mean, even if I become a Mason, I will accept people for what they believe in. But I still think it's a little unbelievable that all of the things in the Bible happen. Like, today, when I was with my mom at the Buddhist temple, there were a bunch of stoned things, stone statues, and they all had writing in them, um, and whoever says Buddhism is not a religion, they're wrong. Buddhism is definitely a religion. There is stories, and there are rules. I found that out today. Yeah, you can accept people, you can be peaceful, you can be... When I think of meditation, I believe of getting stronger. I don't just say mm, peace. Yeah, that's like a basic, mm, just basic. But if you want abundance in your life, if you want money, if you want sex, if you want any of these things, meditation is not the way to go. Meditation is a way to calm your mind. 
But if you want to open your pineal gland, use the sun. If you you can go um and look up different humming sounds affect different parts of the brain. When you want you will feel it in your pineal gland. And certain vibrations will affect the back, the side, all these things. Uh, I love how the Buddhist monk today, who drove me crazy, was like, you can't stare at the sun, you get, you'll get sun cancer. And I'm like, you've been talking to my mom too much. The only reason they say that sun cancer happens is because if they told you that sunscreen has an ingredient that gives you cancer, no one would buy it. But if they say that the thing that heals you is killing you, then you're going to rush over and buy, oh, I need to protect myself. Lying. I have learned from advertising that you sell more shit if you lie. What's wrong with that? I mean, if everyone does it, and people are mentally used to it with the reptilian part of the brain, if people enjoy it pretty much, why would you try to change people? Use that to your advantage. Why? I, I've given up on helping the people. I mean, I'll help them for becoming, rising in the Masons, like becoming a higher degree Mason. But I just have given up on the followers of this world. They are brain dead. They don't think. They're mentally manipulated by society, by other people's judgments, and by television and advertising. They are mentally brainwashed. And people like me, who know advertising perfectly, of course I'll learn more over time, but perfectly, we know to manipulate those people to get money from them because we know we can. It's not an evil thing, it's just taking advantage of things that already work. Back to the original point. I want my best friend to join. Cause I don't I don't I'm not gonna tell him that we keep the secret from him. That's not how we are. And Freemasons just seem to everyone knows each other, everyone makes jokes with each other, everyone is a friend. It's not just like a church where you just watch a guy talk about a book and everyone just says, Oh, how's your day going? Oh, okay, bye. Are you going to be for the, the Sunday breakfast? It's not like that. These people are connected. They have a physical bond with each one of each other. And I just want me and my friend to not like separate. And it seems the way things are going, he wants war. I mean, he doesn't want war. He wants to be able to fight against the war. As where I want him and I to go with the most accepting people on the planet and join the powerful source. Why try to fight against a power that is too strong and you are only the one that wants to fight? You are very likely to die because you're the only one. Maybe you'll have one or two other friends that help you, but the winning, powerful, rich people can take you down like that. And if there's a street mob, you could be shot instantly. Why not work? Become friends with the most powerful people on the planet. With a powerful group, you can achieve a lot more than just being a loner. That's why I want my friend to join with me. 
so we can be powerful together. Doesn't matter how many weapons you have, you could have 15 guns in your house. But it won't matter. Because it only takes a few seconds for Marines to break your door down, break your legs, and then kidnap you and put you in a FEMA camp. Doesn't take long. It doesn't take long for you to be in a mob of people with a gun to get through and someone just shoots you and you die. You want to be with the stronger people to survive and get more successful and grow to learn. And I know for a fact that my best friend has a very open mind. He's conservative like me. Like if you tell me something and I already know it, it won't mean anything to me. But if you teach me something, I'll always listen. Even if I don't agree, I'll always listen to their point. But if they try to force something on me, I get angry. I will listen to you. I will hear you out. I will respond. But for some reason, people don't like conservatives. I, my friend is a conservative. I am a conservative. I'm definitely not a liberal. Fuck that. Um... All I'm saying is I'm switching over to being a Mason, to be with the stronger group of people who have more on their side and more power on their side. And all I want is my best friend to come over with me. I see no point in protecting the people who don't care about the changes in society. I would never protect the people who never listen to any useful things I say. I want to be with the powerful people who know how the world works, who know everything. Just think about it. If you ever see this video, just think about it. But I'm going to see you on uh, Thursday, so I'll tell you anyways. I can't keep a secret from a friend. It's not right. It isn't right. Well, bye everyone. Have a nice night. And uh, tonight was good. <laughs>